Yo, peace and love. Welcome to No Nut November and World War Three. Welcome to No Nut November and World War Three. And this isn't to put fear in your heart and promote paranoia. Basically, these changes, these these drastic measures have to happen because there are many lessons that humanity hasn't learned. There's a lot of karma that has been built up and has to be repaid because humanity hasn't learned. And we are at the cusp of a new world. And so the old world is going to go out with a bang, literally. Now, last year I said that World War III is a battle for your mind. It's a battle of the mind. And that's facts. But don't don't get it twisted. Don't think that these people, right, they built all these bombs and created all these weapons, all these warships and all these warplanes. When has weapons ever been created and it wasn't used? When have big military budgets have been established and armies weren't used? And war campaigns uh, waged. And this is where we're at right now. Don't let anybody deceive you telling you uh, fake news, uh, simulations. Uh, No, man. Those bombs are really dropping on the other side of the world. Cities are being bombed. People are being displaced and are in distress. And it started with that shit over there in Ukraine. That's not fake. That's for real. You think they're going to make all these weapons and not use it and go through the trouble of faking it to scare people? No, this is for real. It's going down for real. Now, I'm going to do another part because I don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to further expound on that on another part. What does this have to do with No Nut November, right? So now is November 1st. Okay. A lot of change and a lot of responsibility rides on the shoulders of us young men and women. Okay. Whether you see it like that or not. Whether you see it like that or not. You're going to learn the easy way or the hard way. Right. So now it's November 1st, right? And so us men, and this can apply to the women too, because you too need to master your energy, okay? But, you know, us men, we have this uh, under the table holiday, all month holiday called No Nut November, where we hold our seed in, right? We hold our energy and we build it up the same way that a boxer does, Right? that a fighter holds their energy in for weeks or months before a fight. But we do this for the 30 days of November. Now, this is a very difficult journey. I wanted to start the month off with this video to encourage you young men especially. You don't have the luxury or the time to be messing around, wasting so much of your energy. Take it from someone that has wasted enormous amounts of energy and wasted enormous amounts of time watching things that I shouldn't have been watching, right? You don't have that luxury no more. Things are happening in the world. Is, is, again, it's not to scare you, it's to prepare you. What you're going to do during an emergency if you got to pick up and run and go, but you're all weak and all out of energy, Because you've been at it for a whole hour watching things that you shouldn't have been watching and doing things that you shouldn't have been doing. You need to be ready for combat at all times, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. You need to maintain your health at all times. And us doing this semen retention and this nofap, right, we're going to be able to self-regulate our nutrients better. Maintain those nutrients, keep those nutrients that our body needs to nourish ourselves and keep our energy up, stay high energy, right? So the goal is, how do we practice the semen retention and retain? It's simple. 
don't watch and don't touch. You already know as men that everything that we see, we get aroused, right? We get excited. Next thing you know, you start touching. Don't watch, including the social media, all these little things in social media that entice you, okay, and provoke you, all right? They um, entice you, provoke you, and seduce you into falling down the rabbit hole. Chop that off. Don't do that. Don't go there. You want to watch something? Force yourself to do 20 push-ups. Say, nah, I'm not going to watch nothing. 20 push-ups. You still want to watch it? Go to 100. Rest, do 20 more. Repeat it five times. You can't make it to 20? Well, that means you got to build your body up. Do as many as you can till you get to 100 and rest as many times as you want. Knock out those 100 push-ups and tire your arms out. Release those endorphins. Next thing you know, you're going to be pumped up. Now you want to be productive doing something else. Go read a book. Go clean your crib. Go clean your car. Write down some ideas. Go take a course. Right? Oh, you want to touch yourself? 20 push-ups. You still want to touch yourself? Go to 100. That's still not working. You're still anxious and restless. Get your ass out of the house and go for a walk. Because you ain't going to be watching and touching yourself out in public. In front of people. These are the no fat protocols. Master your mind to let it go down. Maintain your energy and let your energy rise. Don't watch. Don't touch. So that you can stop wasting time. Doing these. So you can stop wasting time. Wasting your energy. Okay. And instead you can build your energy up. And you can prepare yourself to be a leader in this new world. And I'm in it with you too. I'm not exempt. It's been one hell of a journey for me. It hasn't been easy. That's why I'm so passionate about this in particularly. Because I know how, how, how bad that war against our soul is waged with respect to the dirty videos. And the touching ourselves. <clears throat> that shit ain't normal, you know, but yo, welcome to No Nut November, man. We're going to build our energy up for the new world and we're going to keep our eyes and, and, and ears open and watching what's happening and what's going on and preparing ourselves. It's not to scare you, it's to prepare you. Everybody should be prepared for an emergency. You should have a first aid kit for God's sakes. You know what I'm saying? You should have a source of clean water and at least a month's supply of food, minimum two weeks. You know, but that's all I'm going to preach for right now. I'll probably do a part two to this. Peace and love.